outside the friary here in Tonopah, Arizona. And I'm about to enter Our Lady of Solitude Monastery. It is staffed by the Poor Clares of Perpetual Adoration. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna to talk to one of the sisters and she's gonna tell us about all about the monastery here in the Arizona desert. Hey, Sister Marie St. Paul, thank you for uh, giving us this chance to come and talk to you. And, you know, we, uh, we go way back, you know, you and I, you know, uh, you're here in Tonopah, Arizona. You know, you originally uh, came from the Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Alabama. Uh, God led you and, and a few others to come out to here to Arizona. You guys originated in Black Canyon City there. You know, you you really just, you, I think you, they lent you like a retreat house and you made it a monastery. But then God gave you a vision to build this place here. And it's beautiful, wonderful. So like sister, uh, before we talk, talk about monastery and all that, um, why don't you tell us a, a little bit about the Poor Claire Perpetual Adoration way of life? We are content, contemplative nuns and our main apostolate is um, mm -hmm. Adoration of Our Lord and the Most Blessed Sacrament. Mm -hmm. And the whole reason we came out here, since you asked that, is we wanted to establish a Eucharistic throne for our Lord in the mm. desert. Mm. And All right. he did it. Oh, I remember, you know, you guys came from some, uh, started from some very humble beginnings. That uh, retreat house you inherited, it was a mess. Yeah. You know, nobody, it was vacant for many years and only like uh, mosquitoes, incense and rodents, <laughs> scorpions and snakes, you know, that, that was their home. And then here you come in, you have to clean it all up. And yeah, you know, because we, we came out and helped you move. That's, you know, right. that's how, how we, uh, yeah, that's how we got acquainted and became good friends and, you know, and, and became cool and all that, you yeah. know. Yeah, so tell us about, about that. Like, you, you know, here you are coming out. You start the Our Lady of Solitude in Black Canyon City, and, and then God gives you a vision to, to build this place here. Yeah. Well, it was a call within a call. Mm -hmm. um, and we, uh, it was actually the Feast of St. John the Baptist, and we were just inspired by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it's been a, a hard journey, um, but worth it for Him, of course. Yeah, we moved to Black Canyon City. We were there for five years. This property in Tonopah was donated to us in um, right. 2006. Okay. By Mike and Mary Kay Londo, very mm -hmm. uh, good friends of ours. And then we just, the Lord, He just provides. You trust Him, you say yes, mm -hmm. He's going to see you through. It wasn't mm -hmm. easy. Yeah, and you did a lot of fundraising. Now, one thing, one fundraiser you do is the nun run, right? Yes, the nun what, what's that all about? Yeah, uh, it was it's run for the nuns, really. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also a community building um, opportunity for us to get to know people yeah. in Phoenix and the area. Yeah, yeah, sort of like a mini marathon type of thing. Huh? And people no, are like, a mini Oh, yeah, all right. so all right, yeah. 5K. 5K. Okay, I gotta come out here and run out it's one very, of these days, you know. Yeah, it's very. Painful. I'm gonna start training for next year. Maybe I can come next year and run with you, with you all. You can always come. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> we might beat you. No, we don't <laughs> so, like, okay, so uh, you know, you you get donated the property, you have to raise funds, but then like this place is magnificent. You know, it, it really glorifies God. Our Lady of Solitude Monastery here. So tell us about like the vision and, and how all of this came together and the architecture and everything? Uh, we based it on Mount Alverna in Italy where mm -hmm. Holy Father Francis received the state mm -hmm. And that was our, so we built the chapel first. And that was finished in mm -hmm. 2010. And then we have two um, houses on site where we lived and then there was like a guest house, priest mm -hmm. house, little priest house. And we just, yeah, we are. We have very good benefactors, and our vision again was to have the Eucharistic throne for our Lord. Mm -hmm. And then we built this monastery, which is mm -hmm. back there. And we started right before the pandemic in uh, January of 2020. Thanks be to God, he, the Lord saw us under the wire, mm -hmm. and it took a couple of years. It was very hard, mm -hmm. uh, but we got it finished, and it's yeah, it's our home, our monastery. We wanted the, the monastery for the fullness of our life to live mm. in the cloister. Um, we're really happy to be living that expression of oh, yeah. Eucharistic adoration. I mean, we had Eucharistic adoration in the mm. house, but now it's yeah. the monastic uh, calling and life mm -hmm. and fullness, like I said. Right. 
Yeah, and you are like you're here in the desert, in the middle of the desert, middle of, uh, of nowhere, you know. And you know, I came from city life, so you know, I like I like to see shops and stuff and restaurants and things. <laughs> and like, oh, hey, there's nothing around here, man. <laughs> right, <it's crazy> <laughs> but that's all good because this this is your life here. Yeah, this suits you. This, yeah, like the the, old, the desert fathers and the desert sisters of old. Here you are, you know, reliving that, exactly. you know, bringing that asceticism back. Well, it's a to place, modern day. It's a place for people to come to get away from mm -hmm. the noise and the busyness. Yeah. To just be with our Lord mm. in silence and prayer and yeah. His presence. And we're we're praying on the other side of the weary dose so mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah. And, um, we want to, in that sense, we can share that with the people. Yeah. That silence and that uh, peace, the peace that mm -hmm. uh, our Lord can give. Away right. from the social media and all uh, everything, just for a short time. Of course. Right. You know, people, of course, are, are welcome to come here and they come to this beautiful chapel. Now, it it very much resembles a uh, mission style. You know, you uh, inside and and you have uh, you have your I, I I love the Franciscan saints there. You got some of the modern saints, Mother Teresa. You know, Sister Saint Faustina, Saint Therese, and all that. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about how that all came together. About you know. We really prayed about it. Um, we were inspired by the English martyrs, mm -hmm. the Franciscans, um, mm -hmm. Mount Alberna. We took some inspiration from Our Lady of the Angels Monastery. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's the love that we have for our Lord that inspired mm -hmm. all of that. And the detail, um, we just, of course, beauty, mm -hmm. an expression of our love for our Lord. And to be able to yeah, we prayed about the saints. We wanted Eucharistic saints for the stained glass windows. We picked the quotes. Every everything was very meaningful mm -hmm. to us, and uh, we want to of course share that with everyone that is able to mm -hmm. come out here. Right. Yeah, this uh, indeed it's like an oasis here in the desert. You know, you come and you drink. You know, from the fountain of life. You know, we receive of course the the grace uh, from the sacraments. You know, the the ever flowing. Um, blood and water that's that's flowing from the wounded side of Christ and you know being able to receive it here in the Eucharist and then be being there in adoration with Jesus the Lord and and just being filled up with with love right. you know and that's that's what this place is all about he is enough. yeah this is the love of the Lord you know this this is beautiful and you know that this is it's so inspiring is that um, like I Father Patrick and I had come out here you know, back in 2005 to help the sisters move and clean. We were with Father Dominic and, you know, there was really nothing. And, you know, we, I mean, they, they came out here in faith, you know, and, uh, you know, we were still new to religious life, Father Patrick and I. And so we, we, we had no idea what God was going to do with, with they, with, the, with, the, with this monastery, you know, or with their life. Father Patrick and I, we didn't even know we were going to make it. And then, hey, look at God. Hey, God blows us away, you know. <laughs> We have this beautiful monastery, you know, we become priests and hey, you know, we all share in this life of prayer and yeah. and walk with God, you know, it's, it's beautiful. Every day yeah. because he's never, ever failed us, mm -hmm. ever. And, you know, we learned from Mother Angelica to put our trust in him. I mean, she she was such an example of mm -hmm. with the network and uh, for us too, it's trusting, trusting him. I mean, mm -hmm. He loves us so much, but we do have to step out in faith. And it was scary. Mm -hmm. um, I remember thinking about the future and I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't, I gotta let it yeah. go. And, but it's like one day at a time with the, the, with the yeah. Lord has accomplished and he really, he's really done it. It's a yeah. miracle and we are far out and it was difficult to build, mm. but for some reason he wants us, he wanted to mm -hmm. be here. It's like he went, you know, he was from Nazareth. So yeah, he, he, he's in the desert. He, eh? he lived in the awesome. desert. There he is. Yeah. All right. Well, well, wonderful. Well, Hey, sister, we appreciate your time with us and for welcoming you. You've given me such generous hospitality and it's been a very comfortable, peaceful and prayerful experience, you know. And so so I thank you so much. And uh, for those out there, you know, if you're interested in learning more about Our Lady of Solitude Monastery here in Tonopah, Arizona, we're going to flash the website up right here in front of me. And so, you know, like, please, you know, uh, of course, pray for them. But if you feel in your heart to give a little bit, you know, you know, please do that, too. You know, <laughs> and for all you young ladies out there who may dis be discerning, you know, look, look them up. You know, they, they've got a very prayerful life, a very uh, holy walk with God and, you know, living out here in the monastic life and solitude. It's a beautiful life. So. 
Okay. So thank you all for watching. And yeah, <laughs> thanks again, sister. And please like, comment, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about this. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.